Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Susan Lopresti Wellness Mind, Body, and Soul podcast, the podcast where we explore the highs, the lows, and everything in between when it comes to a woman's life, her health, and all aspects of navigating the midlife landscape. I'm your host, Susan Lopresti, and today I'm going to switch it up a little bit because normally... I come on and I'm talking about ways to stay healthy. So basically I'm giving you information about our different systems in our body, how they deteriorate as we're getting older and what we can do to maintain them at an optimal level. So I've talked about bone health, gut health, brain health, heart health. I mean, you name it. I've talked about it. So today I decided I want to talk about a woman who is in midlife and older. So in a few days, February 3rd, I'm going to be 64 years old. And I know that I have changed dramatically from when I was younger. I mean, naturally you grow up, you're a little bit older, you're a little bit wiser, but for a woman in particular, I feel like we go through this transition because from the time that we're little girls, we're playing with dolls and we're learning how to be mommies, right? And to nurture and to take care of others. And as we get older, and we're growing up and we get married. Now we have our spouse that we're taking care of. And then if we have children, we're taking care of our children. If we're working, we're taking care of our boss. And I think that, and I'm going to speak for myself. I want to say that by the time I was 54, Besides my daughter, who was already getting older at that point, I didn't want to take care of anyone. I was done being a mommy to my spouse when I had one. I was done being a mommy to my bosses. I just was pretty much done. I started getting very selfish, and I wanted it to be all about Susan now right? Because I felt like I've done so much for so many other people, but now I want to take this time for Susan and to change Susan's life and to make Susan's life better. And there were so many things that I wanted to do when I was working and raising my daughter and I was married that I just didn't have time. I couldn't fit it into my daily life schedule, like taking classes or for instance, becoming a health coach, right? Let me tell you something about me becoming a health coach. I wanna say that it had to be about 1992 when I first got a brochure sent to my home from the Institute of Integrative Nutrition, which was located in New York City. And at the time they had this health coaching program. And I remember getting this brochure and looking at it and everything about it just resonated with who I was and who I still am today in a lot of ways. And it was expensive. And so I had just bought a house and I really didn't have any money because I was house poor. And I also didn't have the time to do the health coaching program. So between finances and time, it was out of the question. But every couple of months, they'd send a new brochure and I would, you know, devour it and read about the curriculum and what it was all about. And it was just like, oh, my God, I would love to do this. Well, fast forward to 2017, life was changing. My daughter was grown. I was divorced. I was single. So I had a lot more time. And I decided to finally pursue that dream of mine of becoming a health coach. And I did. So I got certified. But because I still had a full-time job, I mean, how much time was I going to be able to devote to building a business 
when I was out of my house 12 hours a day between working and commuting, 12 to 13 hours a day, I was out of my house. And that time was dedicated to my job. So, you know, sometimes you say bad things happen for a good reason. In 2021, I was let go of my job that I had for 27 years. And I was 61 years old at the time. And initially I was terrified because who's going to hire someone that's 61 years old? They're all hiring young kids out of college, making way less money than I was, who were probably a lot smarter than I was. So who was going to hire me? And that's when I decided, you know what? I mean, it took about two weeks for me to get over the shock of being let go from my job. But once that fell aside and I realized I had a really nice severance package and that was going to take me 14 months in, so I would be a little bit closer to retirement. So anyway, long story short, I hired myself a business coach and I went through a business coaching program. And from there, I started my business. So I tell you that to say that I could have remained the victim. Susan lost her job. It was um, a terrible way to lose my job. I thought that my job was saved and then I lost it anyway. And I could have remained that victim and could have cried about it and felt sorry for myself and invited all my friends to my pity party to hear all my nonsense. But I decided I was not going to do that. I had to change the way I was going to live my life. So I did what was necessary to pick myself up from that bad situation and turn it around and make it a better situation. And so that's what I've done. Am I making a ton of money? Am I making the salary that I was making? Hell no. Am I happier now than I ever was before? Hell yes. So what I'm here to say about that is that a lot of times we get dealt a really bad hand and it's not what we wanted, but what are we going to do? Are we going to sulk about it and carry on about it and become the victim or are we going to do something to make it better? Right. So that's what I decided. So going back to being the nurturer and being the person who was taking care of everybody else and always worried about everybody else. Were they happy? Were they content? Were they happy with how I was serving them? Well, now I'm going to serve myself. And that happens to women when they're in their 50s especially mid to late 50s and early 60s, right? You decide that I'm done taking care of everyone else. This is my time. And if I don't do it now, when am I ever going to do it? Because we're getting older and now is the time to do it. So yes, I am still helping people, but I'm helping people who are coming to me that want my help and they want my guidance, but I'm not going to do it for them. I'm going to guide them and then it's up to them to do it themselves, right? And that's what my health coaching programs are all about. I'm gonna lay it out for you. I'm going to guide you. I will hold you accountable, but if you don't do it, it's not on me, it's on you. And so I didn't want it to be that I was going to blame corporate America, that now I was down and out and lost my job. No, 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 I wasn't going to do that. I wanted to pick myself up and I wanted to do things differently. Because when I was in corporate America, looking back on it, I was not always proud of my behavior. My behavior was a lot of times in victim mode. I wasn't treated fairly, that's a fact, but instead of making it better or doing something about it, I just complained about it. 
I was just the victim, the poor victim in this department that was mistreated, that was, I, I hate to use the word abused because I wasn't abused outright, but it was a passive abuse that I was getting. So just being overlooked, being not included, being in a meeting and never having the boss make eye contact with me or acknowledging the fact that I was even in the room. And then when I would go to address it with him, he would deny that he was treating me like that. So anyway, long story short about the whole thing was when the energy is not good, If you don't do something to change the energy and the vibe of the situation, the universe will change it for you. And so I complained and complained and complained to my coworkers and complained to my significant other. And I complained to whoever else would even listen to me at this point, right? I just did a lot of complaining. So finally, the universe said, you know what? This girl, she's not doing anything. She likes being the victim. So let's push her to a more uncomfortable situation and see what she does with that. And that's when the light bulb went off in my head. And I said, you know what? I'm tired of being the victim. I don't want to be the victim. I don't want to talk like a victim. I don't want to be perceived as a victim. I want people to admire that I picked myself up and I made a difference in my life. And not only Am I making a difference in my own life? But I'm helping women to do the same thing. So women in their 50s and their 60s, they're done taking care of other people. But they're uncomfortable or don't even know where to begin to start taking care of their own lives. And really, that's where I come in with health coaching is I want you to know And my podcast episode is all about that. I want you to be aware of these diseases and these systems that begin to break down as we're getting older. And I want you to be aware of not only the fact that you're losing your health every day, but that you can reverse it. You have to make changes. You have to make changes to your diet, to your environment, to your lifestyle, to the people that you're hanging out with. You need to make changes by moving your body more. And a lot of people don't know any of this. So that was what I initially started my podcast for. So that you will learn how you can improve your bone health how you could improve your brain health, how you could improve heart health and all other aspects of a woman's life and what you could do. I give you all of those tools. And I talk about a lot of Ayurveda practices, a lot of traditional Chinese medicine. I'm a big believer in alternative medicine. I'm not a believer in taking a pill and just continuing to do your life the way you're doing it. No, prescription meds, yeah, they're great for keeping you alive. But are we talking about how to heal naturally? Because prescription medications, yeah, they're going to help your heart and they'll help with diabetes. But if you're not taking care of your diabetes and eating the right foods and exercising and doing what needs to be done to lower your A1C, And you just think that taking a pill is going to exonerate you from doing all the other work that needs to be done. You're only fooling yourself. And your diabetes will continue to get worse if you're eating ice cream and cakes and candies and just thinking, oh, but I take a pill, so I don't have to worry. So I want my listeners to know and to be educated and aware that our health 
is in our hands, right? We need to take care of our own health. And it's not only about our physical health. I want to start getting into more about our emotional health and how we handle life. Like I talked about corporate America, those weren't my proudest moments of how I handled that situation. When I was married, I wasn't proud of the way I handled a lot of what was thrown at me in my marriage. I think I could have done things differently. Was I getting help? Yeah, I was. I was in therapy and I was in a program, but I didn't always follow through on what I was being told was the way to handle my situation because I would lose my mind and lose my patience and freak out. So those weren't my proudest moments, especially for my daughter to see how I was. I'm sad about that, that she saw that. I'm sad about that she had to live her life like that with me and my ex. But I think that at this point in time, I think I made a difference in her life by changing who I am and getting stronger and being more independent. And I think also her seeing what I did when I lost my job because I didn't freak out. I took action. I took action to start my business. I took action to start my podcast. I took action by hiring a business coach to help me get my business off the ground. And I think it's really important that when things come up, you know, good things, bad things, how do I want to handle that? How do I want people to see me? I want people to look at me and be proud of where I was and where I am today. And, you know, I think a lot of where I am today, because I'm in a great place, honest to God, I've never been happier. Like I said, I'm not making the money that I was making in corporate America, but I have so much more than just money right now, right? I have time freedom. I have a business that I'm doing that I absolutely love doing and I love sharing with my viewers and my podcast, with clients that I have in my private Facebook group. You know, I just love sharing myself what I've learned, what I know, and sharing that information with others and helping others to achieve goals, whatever they are. And by helping other women, I'm really helping myself as well. So health coaching is, it's a great thing. It really is. It's a great profession to have because you are helping someone else. But a lot of times when you have a client a lot of their actions and behaviors and thoughts are very similar because like attracts like, right? In anything, in anything in life, whatever your thoughts are, if you have negative thoughts all the time, things are going to be negative. You're going to attract negativity. And if you have positive thoughts, you attract that. So when my thoughts are the way I am, I attract a client who is pretty much on the same wavelength as me. So when I'm helping that person to achieve better health or a better situation, I'm also helping myself at the same time. And I really find that interesting and I find it exciting. And I find that there's a world of possibilities out there. There really, really are. There's a world of possibilities. And when I see someone who's not in a good place and they're hurting or they're sick and they're lost in, in the direction to take next, a lot of times I'll reach out to that person and I'll offer them my service and I'll tell them, I don't even want to charge you. I just feel like maybe I could help you in some way. And maybe I'll offer them a Reiki session. 
or maybe I'll offer them a health coaching session that's free, you know, and just see where it goes from there. See if it even resonates with them in any way, shape or form. So I just wanted to come on and I wanted to talk to you about that and let you know that going forward, my podcast may be a little bit different than it has been in the past. And if anyone on here is listening and they want to share something, a struggle, a health challenge, whatever it may be, please reach out to me. You could go to my website and schedule time with me there, www.susanlopresti.com. Or you could email me, susan at susanlopresti.com. And let me know if you would like to be on my podcast and share your story or your challenge or your transformation. And share it with my listeners so that they can learn from you, and maybe improve their life. And that's what it's all about. So thank you so much for listening. Thank you for your support. Thank you for everything that you have done to encourage me to keep going in this journey. And until the next time, be happy, stay positive, and always look at the glass being half full rather than half empty. Believe me, it will make a difference in your life. Until the next time, stay well, everyone. Take good care.